Now I want to go on a little bit of a rant which is really directed towards myself. And this is the issue that I have with EDC or Everyday Carry. It is clear that I love Everyday Carry. I just made an Everyday Carry video. I have been making EDC videos for seven years at this point. I watch these videos nonstop. I mean that I watch other people's EDC content nonstop. I don't mean that I watch my own EDC videos nonstop because that would be crazy and weird to watch your own videos on loop. I watch other people's everyday carry content because I find it fascinating. I like seeing what people carry because it gives me insight into their day-to-day -day life, gives me insight to who they are, and it gives me ideas on how I might be able to optimize my life. But therein lies the issue for me, that constant desire, that constant push to optimize what you carry to make your life as easy, as perfect as you possibly can. It would be one thing if you were looking at cardboard trinkets and you were saying, oh, this one cardboard trinket that cost me a nickel doesn't do what I need it to. I'm going to buy that cardboard trinket that cost six cents. That would be one thing. But when you're looking in the EDC realm, a lot of the items that are for sale are buy it for life. They are of extremely high quality and extremely durable. They are intended to last a lifetime. But when you're in this constant state of flux, this constant state of, I must optimize, I must find new gear, I must buy new gear to make my everyday carry more optimal, to make it more streamlined, to make it more perfect for my day-to-day -day use... That's a great idea, but what it leads to is buying extremely expensive and high-quality items that you use for one, two, three, maybe 12 months, and then you think, oh no, I must optimize more, I must find a better item to carry with me because this does not meet 127% of my needs, of my desires, I must spend more money. It creates this constant state of consumption. It is that... What is it? They live, must consume, put on your glasses, must consume, 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 consume. That's how it feels. Maybe this says more about me than it does about the everyday carry community and the everyday carry videos, but I have had to unsubscribe from a number of channels because I know I don't have the willpower to not say, yeah, I, do. I would like to buy that $30 pocket knife. That seems like that would be an improvement to my everyday carry when I have a perfectly functional everyday carry. My keychain is flawless. My pocket knife does everything that I need it to do. My flashlight does more than I will ever need it to do. I don't need a new one. I don't need to buy a new phone. I don't need to buy a new watch. Well, let's let's ignore that. I do need to buy a new I need to buy a new watch every single month. <laughs> I need more watches. But I had to go through a massive purge yesterday. I unsubscribed from a lot of channels because number 1, a lot of them just depressed me. I don't want to see that news. Don't want to see that news. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe, do not recommend, do not recommend. And then a lot of channels that I do enjoy watching, I do enjoy them. But they create this strong desire. I must consume, I must buy that new thing. So I unsubscribed from a lot of watch channels and a lot of everyday carry channels because I don't need this constant reminder to go out and spend money. And that's what a lot of YouTube has become for me. I don't know why I am sharing this with you. I guess it's because this is the Bandrew Says podcast. I share my thoughts on news. I share my thoughts on what's going on in my life, in my head. It's what I says. And that's why I'm sharing it. This is a realization that I have come to. That a lot of YouTube, it's not out of interest that people talk about things. It's out of making informed purchasing decisions, which is great, but also at the same time, it creates this state of constantly wanting to buy more stuff, constantly wanting to consume more, constantly wanting to find something that will fill the void in our lives. <laughs> and I have to step back from a lot of these arenas and say, you know what? I enjoy the content, but I need to reassess because this isn't healthy. 
this const being constantly signed into Amazon, just scrolling. I want to spend some money. What can I find to throw money at? Oh, I want to watch a YouTube video to find out what to buy next. No, no, that's not what these videos ought to be for. These videos ought to be for, hey, I want to make an educated purchasing decision. Here are the tools that I am looking at, whether it be a microphone, whether it be a pocket knife, a flashlight, a lanyard, a hoodie, a watch, whatever. I want to make an educated purchasing decision. So I am going to look up reviews of those items and decide based on that information. I think that's how they ought to be used, as opposed to I am going to watch all of them and find out what to spend my money on next because I need to spend my money on something. And I am sure there are people saying, hey, bro, that's your channel. <laughs> You're talking about yourself. Possibly, probably. I have said multiple times, you do not need to buy things. Watch my video, when to upgrade. Watch my video, what was it? Three or five things to avoid when buying microphones, something like that. I try to put out some sense along with the reviews because I know myself, I fall into the trap of watch all of it, look for the next thing to spend money on. And I don't want my channel to be that. So I try to throw out some common sense here and there about it, and I have been very adamant, do not go into debt to buy audio gear. Don't do it. And I am loving that I am seeing that in the watch side of things as well. Do not go into debt to buy watches. It's a freaking toy on your wrist. Do not go into debt. Do not put yourself in financial hardship to get into it. It's a freaking watch, you dummy. Don't be dumb. That's, that's my rant. I have had to take a step back because I love everyday carry. I love trying to optimize my life. But at what point does this constant desire and push to optimize your life become a detriment? It becomes a time waster. Because I have all the tools that I really need day to day, it's just about finding, oh, what tool might be more perfect for me? What tool might create this identity in my head of who I really am because I'm that rugged outdoorsman who can hunt and live off the... I can't... No, that's not me. <laughs> I live in a city. I don't hunt. I couldn't even skin an animal if, I, if my life depended on it. So no, I don't, <laughs> I don't need that buck knife to go off the grid with a GPS track. It's not me. Now I'm just rambling. My rant turned into a ramble. The ramble says, ramble. <laughs> That's something from my band. I don't know why that became a thing. Ramble. <laughs> There's four people in this world who are going to find that funny and none of them listen to this show. 